Hello everyone, I just thought I'd show you quickly how to add Guitar Rig to GarageBand so you can record with the Guitar Rig sounds. It's, it's pretty easy to do this, so I've opened up a new blank project here and to add a Guitar Rig I'm just going to go up to this little button here and we're going to see this amp and the settings here. Now here, just down here, can you see where it says audio units? This is where you're going to add guitar rig. If you can't see this, um, if this is too low, just drag it up like, like that so you can get a better view. Because I noticed when I the first time I did this, you couldn't see that at all. And I thought it wasn't included in GarageBand, but it is. So go down to here, click on audio units, and then audio units here, and then we have native instruments guitar rig and I'm going to choose this one mono to stereo because that sounds that sounds really cool you can choose mono if you like and um, now this little error message is saying do you want to keep all of the garage band effects you know so if you've got any reverb or anything like that that will be on top of the guitar rig now you can do that but that might be a bit too too much effects um, so I'm going to bypass them here and uh, there we go, there we've got our guitar rig here and uh, you can use all your presets, that's really cool and when you play, if I, by the way if you close this uh, it doesn't actually close it, uh, you can still re reopen the settings again. So when you choose a preset uh, you've got guitar rig now going directly in to GarageBand, you can hear all the sounds and you can record with that sound. So hope this was useful to you and uh, see you in the next video.